We were granted the right to exist by the God of our fathers at the glimmer of the dawn of human civilization nearly 4,000 years ago. For that right, which has been sanctified in Jewish blood from generation to generation, we have paid a price unexampled in the annals of nations. What kind of expression is this? I ask the representatives of the French government. Punishing Israel? Is Israel a vassal state of yours? Is Israel a banana republic? Are we youths of 14 who, if they don't behave properly, are slapped across the fingers? Let me tell you who this government is composed of. It is composed of people whose lives were spent in resistance, in fighting and in suffering. You will not frighten us with punishments. He who threatens us will find us deaf to his threats. The Jewish people have been around, the civilization of Yisrael has been around longer than anyone else. The only people who come close, maybe within a thousand years, are the Chinese. I don't even want to tell you where the French were when Jewish civilization was already well established. Who are you? Who are you, the government of France, to make plans, outlines, agreements on our behalf? Who the hell are you? <laughs> UN Ambassador Francois Delarte, who are you? United States Ambassador, French United States Ambassador, Gerard Arraud, who are you? New York Council General of France in New York. Claire Legendre, who are you? You were going to tell us? No, you're going to go back. Go back to that president of yours, Hollande. And you're going to tell him. We, the Jewish people in the state of Israel, will not accept your edicts. You have no right to tell us what to do. Who are you? Here's who you are, you whorish government of France. I'll tell you who you are. You allowed a hostile population into your midst more than any other nation in Europe. A hostile population which you cannot assimilate. Many of whose members are sympathizers with jihadists or jihadists themselves. But being French, you want their votes because you have more of them than the Jews. You want to give us an edict? No edicts for the Jewish people in the state of Israel. You have no legitimacy. Who are you? You are the nation of Alfred Dreyfus. Who are you? When Prince Faisal in 1920 had an agreement with Chaim Weizmann that the Arabs would accept their land and the Jews would be able to establish theirs. We could have had the Jewish state two years after the Balfour Declaration. Who did it? Who screwed it up? The French. Because they wanted Syria and Lebanon. Who are you to tell us? Who are you? Who are you, Mr. Ambassador? Who are you? Your ancestors, only two generations ago, willingly deported the Jewish people to Auschwitz through Drancy with your own trains, with your own trains at your own free will. Who are you? Who are you to tell the Jewish people about the Jewish state and their future? Who are you? What right do you have? You, the French, who prematurely released members of the Abu Nadal group who murdered people in Goldenberg's restaurant, who are you who released other terrorists who had bombed the liberal French synagogue in Paris? Who the hell are you to tell the Jewish people? Whose judgment do you have the right to make? You have no right whatsoever. You have no legitimacy in our future. And we tell you as Americans and on behalf of the government of Israel, thank God January 20th is coming because all you will do will be of zero value, zero legitimacy. You want to give 
lectures, you want to give edicts, you start with Nicaragua, you start with Venezuela, you start with Iran. Leave us the hell alone. Who are you? We are the Jewish people. And we have an ancestral homeland, the state of Israel. And the state of Israel will take no direction from the government of France, a government which has no loyalty, betrays its friends, and wants the votes of jihadists. We are the Jewish people. We have been here longer than anyone else, certainly longer than you while you were strolling in caves. Do not give any edicts to us. They will fall on deaf ears.